In today's video, we're gonna be talking about pad perform. And those that are new to the MPC, pad perform is just where you're gonna find functions that help you out with your scales so that you can stay in key. Also a couple chord progression functions where you are able to just even use different progressions so you don't have to have any kind of music theory knowledge and you can have custom chord progressions. Let's just get right into it. So I got a piano pulled up. So first thing to know that pad perform is only for certain functions as far as your plugin, your key groups, your MIDI, and your CV. The way you would get to pad perform, you can either click the third icon where your programs are set right here, or you can just do shift and 16 levels. So chromatic is going to be your first option. Now when you're going up the piano note by note, this is what it means to be chromatic. So A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And as you can see, we have two reds and then the rest is yellow. The red represents octaves. If I hit the bottom one, A0, and then I hit A1, it's a bit higher. And let me just make it more present. I'm gonna hit a different bank. Hitting the banks while you're in pad perform is another way to go up the octaves. So now you can hear the difference a bit more clear. If you use the octave button right here and just keep going up, it goes all the way to eight octaves. And then you can also go further down if you want it like very low. But you probably won't go that low because as you can hear, that sounds very muddy. Even A minus one. Actually, that sounds a bit decent. That's because it's an A. If it was another key, then it probably won't sound that good. And when you look at the notes that are highlighted in yellow, look at where you have your scale. So if you have this on a major, it's gonna show the A major scale and it's gonna be highlighted. And anything else that is not highlighted is not part of the scale that you're in. You can still hit that note. But this is just a way that MPC makes it easy for you to understand and just play along with your beat in the right key. And then we go on to notes. Since we're in A major, it's gonna have all the notes that are in A major and then is going to just repeat itself. And like I said, anything that's highlighted in red are the different octaves. In short, you're probably going to be on notes. It's going to be a lot easier. You won't really hit a wrong note without having it being on chromatic and then you're accidentally hitting the wrong note. Now we go over the chords. So right now we're on A major. Let's just actually make this easy and go to C major. C major is all the white notes. So this is where C is. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And that's what it's showing right here. Now, since we're in chords, they're gonna show you one, three, five. Now, if you're new, you're gonna be like, what is one, three, five? And if you don't know what chords is, chords is just a combination of three or more notes played together at the same time. In the basic scale of major and minor, you're gonna have eight notes. And the eight note is really just the first note, just an octave up. So it's really seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when they say one, three, five, what they're talking about is the first note, and then the third note, and then the fifth note. And then when you play together, you get the C major chord. Now if I hit the pad, it's gonna play that same chord. Now you can hear how loud it sounds. So this is just a quick side note. You could actually hit the full level button. When it's not on red, then you could play with the dynamics. So I could hit it soft. I could hit it hard. I could hit it medium. Now, if you're a beginner, controlling your dynamics is quite a challenge, even on a piano. Another thing you can do so that your dynamics is not just super up or super low, hold down shift and hit full level, and this is called half level, even if I hit it like slightly. It's gonna be at a half level, and then I can mess around with it. Now that is more controllable and it's gonna sound a lot better and even. So if we continue with the one, three, five formula, so the next chord is gonna be your D minor. So this is gonna be one, and then this is your two, but we're gonna skip that, hit the three, skip the four, hit the five. D minor, and just to confirm on the pads, and then we just go up again to E. So now your E is your one. 
And then remember, we're still in scale, so we're not counting the black notes because we're in C major. It's only white notes. F is two, so we skip that. And then G is the three. And then A is the four, so we skip that. And B is the five, so this is E minor. So when you have it on one, three, five, all it's pretty much doing is playing the basic triad. Triad is just three notes. So when you're going up each starting point and you're creating a triad, this is what they call diatonic chords. And diatonic just means all the chords that belong to that scale. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, be diminished and then you could just switch it up you could go to one four five now one four or five is just going to be called a sus chord now we don't have to get too crazy with the names but just understand how i did a c major which is the one three five instead of the three just play the fourth note of that now let's confirm that and then so on and so forth. One, two, five is your suspended second. One, three, five, seven is your seven chords. And then your flat sevens. And those are all the options you have. A seven chord, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have our regular one, three, five. We're just gonna move over and add our seven. Let's confirm it. And then you have the starting on root note or continuous right here option. Starting on root note just applies to right here. So anytime you go up an octave or go to the next set, so you see how it says C4, if I wanna go to the next set up, it's always gonna start at the root note. But if I hit continuous and I go to the next set of notes, hitting the banks, you see how it went from G, it went from E, it went from C2. Is just continuing off from the last note. So after D in the major scale of C is gonna be E. So hit bank two, E. And then after F is gonna be G. So hit bank C, G. If you're a beginner, just leave it on the root note. So anytime you switch banks, you still can see it in the correct format because it could probably get a bit confusing if you're new and you just going up the different banks and the notes are switching around. At least when you keep it at the root note, all the notes will still be in the same spots. So if I go to bank two, G is still where it's at, A is still where it's at, and they're just going up the octave. So that's a lot easier. So chromatic chords is a bit different, especially if you have it on major up here and major at the bottom. What this is saying is that it's gonna change every diatonic chord to a major chord. So if you remember what diatonic chords is, each note playing a triad, but instead of this being a minor, is going to be a major. All your minors in that C major scale is going to turn into a major. So instead of E minor, it's going to be E major. Remember, B is a diminished chord in C major scale. But when you're playing in chromatic chords, it's going to turn it into a major. Double check. So it just depends on the scale that you have it on. If you have it on natural minor, it's going to have your natural minor notes laid out, but then it's only going to play the major, or it's only going to play the minors, or it's only going to play the sus twos, or the sus fours, or the major sevens, or the minor sevens. But next we're going to get into the option, if I was to play chords on the pads, I would go to progressions. Now progressions is just a preset of chords. This is what I would actually tell beginners to start with. And instead of going to classic major, we can actually get out of that and we could go to all these different ones, gospel, guitar, hip hop, house, jazz, keys, and all these different ones. You experiment with it. Let's go to trap, trap one. Let's hear how these sounds. That is just a better workflow for me in my opinion because right off the back they're giving you all these sets of chords that this sounds good or another thing i like to use is just go to chat gbt and type in hey give me the chords that they use in the avengers movie and they'll give you those chords and then i'll just play it on the piano now i know all of you may not have a midi controller but i promise you adding a midi controller with your mpc live too 
Is this gonna set you to the next level? And let's go to this last option. So then we have custom. There is a way to put custom chords and load them into your pad perform. You will first have to go into your software and then you will have to just play the chords out and then assign the chords, put it on a SD card and make a folder called progressions. It can't be called anything else but progressions with a S and then load them onto that. There's a couple videos out there that you can watch if that's something that you're interested in. I just didn't want to add that because like I said, as a friend, I would encourage you to just learn how to play chords and get yourself a MIDI controller or just find the chords on Google and then just play it in the notes. Let's just go back to our major and go up an octave, you can hit C, E, and G. This is a lot faster and it's a lot better for you as a musician because now you are practicing what you just learned. And we all know that's good for our brain once we learn something and we practice it. Let's say we wanted to play the C major seven. So that's C, E, G, B. So together. Now, I just thought about this right now. The trick is, if you could understand the shape like this, if I go to D major, then I know that the D major chord is D, F sharp, A. It will always be in the same spot. Now, if you wanted to create a seven chord, if you could start to remember the shapes, this is the seven chord for F major and that E major seven. E major seven, E, G sharp, B, D sharp. Let's see that on the keyboard. E, G sharp, B, D sharp. Higher octave. Another thing too, instead of adding custom chord progression is because the way custom chord progression works is just one chord by itself on one pad. Now that's going to take forever. I would rather just load up a MIDI chord progression. And the way you would do that is just go to your folder of MIDI progressions. So what this is gonna do, when it comes to loading MIDI, for some reason, it loads in sequence, especially if you're on a new update, which could be a problem if you wanna load more than one MIDI, it's gonna be on separate sequence. And then you go to the grid view, there it goes. And then if you're on Q-Link 4, and you remember my video on grid view, you will realize you could extend the loop out with the last knob, and you can also add in more bars like this with the second knob. So now, if I go in and get a sound, and then I play it. That's the end of this video. I was just really trying to show you like there's a better path of doing things rather than just the normal path what everybody's doing. Until next time, Remember, watch this chord video if you want to understand more about chords and leave a comment below on what you would like to learn next. Thanks. Peace.